good morning students so today i am in the, my third class of uh, linux system administrations uh, i am going to discuss some basic concept basic commands and file system of linux operating system so basically in this class i am going to discuss some important concept as well as commands of linux or unix environment operating system so here we see the standard unix stream if we see uh, under normal circumstances every unix program has three stream files here standard in so his this refer this Standard in means this refers standard input and associated file descriptor is zero. So this is also represented as stand e stand in. So Unix program will read and read the default input from the stand in. Then stand out std out. This reference this referred to as the standard output and the associated files descriptor is one. So this is also represented as std ut the unix or linux program will write the default output at stand std out then std err this is referred to as standard error and the associated file descriptor is 2 so this also represented as std err the unix program will write all error messages at std err so again uh, here we will discuss detail about director management in unix or linux environment a directory is a file the solo job of which is to store the file names and related information all the files whether ordinary special or directory are contained in directories so unix or linux uses a hierarchical structure for organizing files and directories so this structure is often referred to as directory tree a tree has a single root node and slash character so all other directories are contained below it so home directory if we see home directory uh, the directory in which we find ourselves when we first log in all our home directory so we will be doing much of work in our home directory and sub directories that we will be creating to organize our files we can go in our home directory anytime using following commands so cd cd this this indicates home directory and suppose we have to go to any other directory user home directory so cd tilt username cd tilt this command is used to go to the last directory and if we use cd this to go down last directory and if we we also we should also know about absolute and relative partner so directories are arranged in a hierarchical with root slash at the top the position at any file within the hierarchy is described by its path name so element of a path name are separated by a slash so a path name is absolute if it is described in relative in relation to root thus absolute path name is always begin with a slash dot so for example some example absolute path so slash etc slash password slash user slash these are some absolute path again a path can be also written also relative to your current working directory's relative path name never begins with slash so relative to the users m root home directory for example this is same not personal list these are the relative path names so to determine where we are within the file system i will at any time enter command pwd print the current working directory so 
if this command is pwd then we should know what is our current directory of working so user zero home this and listing directories we always use the command ls dir name directory name so if we use this command ls directory name then this object will be given and following then we use this ls user local then we have see the directory is under local so now again if we the command to create directories we will now understand how to create directories so directories are created following commands make mkdir get directory name here directory is absolute or relative part name of the directory we want to create then make directory my directory so then create it then we created the directory my directory in the current directory here another example make directory temp test directory that means the command creates the directory test directory in the temp directory and make the account produce no output if it satisfied the request directory so if we give our mode and directory then commands make directory case then for example make directory docs puts create directory and docs and put under current directory so creating parent, parent, parent directories we will also now we can create parent directories using same command make directory and this So this is then if we want to remove directory then the command rmdir is used to remove directory so to remove directory you make sure it is empty and which means there should not be any file or subdirectory so remove directory this is and sensing directory we use cd command to sense directory for to home directory so cd directory name and directory name this is sense directory you can use renaming directory mv move come on so this is the directories yeah i think it's helpful So in this chapter, if we see the file permissions, means file permissions, we have three types of every Unix file file has permissions. So file ownership is an important component of Unix that provides a secure method for storing files. Every file or any following attributes. So owner permission, the owner's permissions determine what actions the owner of the file can perform on the file. Next group permissions, the group's permission determine what action is a, a user who is a manager of the group file and other world permission, the permission for others. So the permission indicates while using the command ls less l commands then displays then displays the following information so we wrx wrx wr this means here the first column represents the different access mode the permission of the file so the permission group are broken into three we have which are the specific read write and executes the first three characters represent permission of the file owner so for example Rx, this is represented by read, write, and executes mode. So, second, five to three consists of permissions. First, owner, files owner, that is files three are files owners. Next, second, three are 
actually consists of files belongs to second group and third one is the others so this is the files permissions this about the files permission important is then file access mode the permission of files are first line of defense in the security and in so basic building blocks of unix permission are read write and execute permission so read with three types of permissions we have read means grant the capability to read view the content of file write the grants the capability to modify and remove the content of the file and execute means this permission is user execute a permission can run at a file program so directory can ex directory access mode if we see these are also read write and similar execute so directory access mode are listed in the same way as file read means similarly uh, access the directory means the user can read the content of the directory under uh, files and then write read write and executes so the executing the directory this we can also sense permissions using the sense mode command chmod command we can sense our permissions using this okay so how we will do this will be given in the next class sensing mode Okay, thank you.